Thousands of man-made satellites, hundreds of human spaceflight launches, telescopes that reach the most distant galaxies in the universe, and a realistic possibility to live on a planet beside ours. Space exploration has come a long way. We are simply just a civilization, hopelessly gazing at the sky, pondering the what-ifs of the mysterious universe. But our technology has given us the opportunity to not merely gaze, but to take a closer look at the spectacular universe. When we first landed on the moon, it was deemed a leap for mankind. But little did we know that throughout the last decades, we would take more than just a leap. We are now on the verge of unlocking everything the universe has to offer. All of this thanks to a grueling war. Today, we remember the rich history of our journey in space. We take a look at the evolution of space exploration. When we think of the architects of space exploration, we need to go to the United States of America and the Soviet Union. But behind these powerful countries were scientists from one nation who devised a lethal weapon that paved a bizarre path for mankind to progress. 1942. In the midst of the arduous Second World War, a missile was launched. A missile that would soon reshape the landscape of war. Vengeance Weapon 2, widely known as the V-2 missile, was a ballistic missile deployed by the Germans to provoke the Second World War. More than 1,100 V-2s were unleashed on Great Britain and Belgium. Over the duration of the war, 5,000 individuals lost their lives because of this deadly missile. When Germany lost the war in 1945, the United States and Soviet Union picked up the valuable rockets and utilized German scientists to tinker with them for a grander use, to investigate what lies beyond our planet. With the conclusion of the Second World War, another conflict propagated between the two Goliath countries. The silent conflict that dragged on for almost half a century, the Cold War. The two countries competed for dominance, notably in space, an uncharted territory beyond Earth that was never explored by humanity before. This started the space race. The space race cleared the path for space exploration to flourish dramatically. The Soviets seized an early lead in the space race when they launched the first satellite and by doing so inaugurated the space age. On October 4, 1957, the Soviet Union launched the first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, into orbit. And only four years later, on April 12, 1961, Soviet Lieutenant Yuri Gagarin became the first human to orbit Earth in Vostok 1. His journey lasted 108 minutes as he reached an altitude of 202 miles 327 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Gagarin and the Soviets were one step ahead of the Americans, who were just a month late when they sent the first American to space, Alan Shepard. The USA signed the Space Act in 1958, which founded the National Aeronautical and Space Administration, or NASA. NASA and the Americans were trailing behind in the race for space domination. But then, US President John F. Kennedy set his sights on a new, more ambitious goal. In 1961, after failing to deploy the first human into space, John F. Kennedy declared to the country a national goal, landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to Earth within the decade. Hence, the journey to the moon began. But the trek to the moon was hardly a walk in the park. Humanity had just reached space, and to proclaim such an extreme ambition necessitated a lot of pride. The Apollo missions endured a lot of difficulties. The mission started with a tragedy when the Apollo 1 spacecraft caught fire during a ground rehearsal in 1967, killing three astronauts in the process. NASA delayed the program and resumed it later that year with several unmanned Earth orbit missions. In October 1968, Apollo 7 performed a 163-orbit journey carrying a complete crew of three astronauts. Finally, in July 1969, space exploration reached its zenith. The Apollo 11 spacecraft successfully landed on the moon, with the famous Neil Armstrong being the first human to ever step foot on the moon's surface. One giant leap for mankind, a massive triumph for the United States. The US became the front-runner in the space race, but the Soviets didn't back down without a fight. Their retaliation? The next phase of space exploration, a home in space, a space station. In April 1971, the Soviets introduced the Salyut-1. 
the very first space station in Earth's orbit was built to make space more accessible, another significant achievement for mankind. The U.S. followed with their very own space station in 1973, dubbed Skylab. Four years later, on July 17, 1975, a momentous breakthrough transpired. The first international docking in space happened between the Apollo spacecraft of the U.S. and the Soyuz spacecraft of the Soviet Union. This marked the end of over three decades of seeking space supremacy. Since the armistice in space and the development of space stations, everybody sought a piece of the universe. We wanted to have a closer look at other celestial bodies that we could not approach before. We started with the Mariner missions to observe the red planet Mars, then the more ambitious Pioneer missions, which gave us humans a closer look at the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn. But we were not satisfied. In 1977, we launched a mission that many regard as the greatest space exploration mission ever launched, the Voyager missions. Voyager 1 and 2 were launched 15 days apart on August 20th and September 5th, 1977. Since then, the Voyagers have provided humans stunning perspectives on the other planets, including the two furthest planets in the solar system, Uranus and Neptune. However, despite the success of the Voyager, Astronomers still had one challenge to address. Humanity still had a very limited view of the universe. And in April 1990, a massive breakthrough happened, when NASA, along with the European Space Agency ESA, launched the first massive optical space telescope, the Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble produced never-before-seen photographs of the universe, stunning sights that gave our scientists concrete proof on how the universe really began including the monumental photo of the Pillars of Creation, which set ablaze the curiosity of all our scientists back then. Since the Hubble was created, space industry became more relevant. And one ambitious mission that sparked the new era of space exploration is the creation of our home in space. On November 20th, 1998, the age of the International Space Station, the biggest man-made object in space. ISS was a partnership between numerous countries all across the world, including the USA and Russia, and was recognized as a symbol of peace in space. A new age of space exploration began. The ISS has been continually inhabited since the first people stepped on the station in 2000. Over 200 different individuals visited the ISS. The space industry has grown exponentially since the launch of the ISS. Even private corporations were keen to join the expeditions in space. SpaceX was established in 2002 to specialize on a more efficient usage of rockets. Ambitious missions spearheaded the new age of space endeavors. Missions were not just flybys, but were touching the surface of numerous planets and comets to collect samples that revealed their mysterious nature. Like the Curiosity rover that was launched in 2012, which landed and roamed the Martian soil and examined what lies beneath the surface of the Red Planet. Especially in 2014, when the Rosetta space mission became the first probe to orbit and land on a comet named Philia Rosetta. With missions like this, space has become the center of curiosity for many people. On December 25th, 2021, the anticipation of what the universe has to offer reached its max when our scientists launched the most powerful telescope mankind had ever made, the James Webb Space Telescope, a hundred times more powerful than its predecessor, the Hubble Telescope. These photographs opened the door for humanity to glimpse at even the most distant galaxies in the universe, giving the universe a whole new look. The pillars of creation, as captured by Hubble, got an upgrade, with a more detailed, vivid image. After the spectacular launch of the JWST, scientists shifted their focus to the moon, a place that we have not been to for over half a decade. And in November 2022, Apollo's brother Artemis 1 took its turn to return to the moon. Space is becoming more accessible than ever. We are, once again, at the start of a new era of space exploration, an era in which we are making the impossible possible.